Hey everyone, Joshua Nesser, and I'm just getting back right now from probably my favorite overland trip through Anza Brego. We spent roughly four days and saw all the major highlights. I don't want to spoil anything too much for you, so why don't you sit back, stay tuned, and enjoy this video. This isn't how this story is supposed to start. We were supposed to meet up with a group early this morning, but due to unfortunate circumstances, we got there late. The rest of the group had a beautiful morning. They started on the south side of the park, headed over to Vallecito Wash, and then over Arroyo Tapiado, where they got to explore the mud caves. If you haven't explored the mud caves before, this is something everyone needs to do. Just be careful, don't touch the walls. <laughs> Huh. So, so it's an air, an air hole. So water must. What? No. Oh, Trey would love this. Oh, dude, he'd oh, love it. Beautiful. He might move in. Oh! <laughs> I feel like I just got burned. Uh, like burned. <laughs> yeah, all right. Look, Debbie's crowning. <laughs> After Rio Tapio mud caves, they headed over to Rio Seco del Diablo, and continued up that canyon. It's a beautiful drive, but it started raining on them. And this is not the place you want to be in the rain. If you've never been in this canyon before, it has these towering cliffs and it's absolutely beautiful. Now these are mud wall cliffs, so they occasionally fall in and even block the trail. There is a couple springs on this trail, so sometimes it creates a massive mud hole. From there, the group headed over to Diablo's Drop, took in the views before heading down the trail and getting to camp. And this is where we meet up with them. We woke up to a beautiful day. It was just warm enough not to be cold in shorts and t-shirt, but a light jacket made it nice. You get the biggest milk mustache right now. <laughs> we ended up camping near the mud palisades as there was a plenty large area for our small group, but no one had to be on top of each other. After some coffee and donuts, the group lines up and show off the rigs. After some morning banter, it's time to get going. This morning, everybody. That was yeah. awesome. That was right. Relaxing. Yeah, that was nice. Uh huh. Good. We'll, we'll maintain that. Maybe what do you not. say we do that again? I see. <laughs> I'm down, bro. I'm down. And down Fish Creek we head. Next stop, Sandstone Canyon. For those of you who are not following Genrite, Tony recently bought himself a YJ. He was having the time of his life. It just shows you. You don't have to have a quick vehicle to have fun. But it didn't take long as we got to Sandstone Canyon. The views just got absolutely amazing. As we got deeper into the canyon, the cliff falls got taller and taller, just making it that much more magical. This is why everyone says Sandstone Canyon is their favorite stop in Antibrigo. After exiting Sandstone Canyon, we hang a right and head down Fish Creek. I wanted to show them some of the stuff that I think is cool farther down Fish Creek. One of the stops that's often passed by is that there's a fault line that runs right through Split Mountain. And you can see it, and the rocks bend as the faults come together. The group has taken the time to absorb the amount of energy that's required make rocks bend like hot liquid metal it is something amazing something beautiful and it's a must stop if you're ever in the area yeah, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's where it's 
From here, we're going to continue north and next to the hills. Then we're going to head over to Blow Sand because it feels good to get those wheels spinning, put a little horsepower down on the ground. After some fun on the sand hill, we decide to loop around the hill and head over to Hawk Canyon. From there, we're going to head over to the slot. And that was one cool adventure. Amazing hiking, a must stop. Party in the slot? Yeah. Party in the slot. Have fun, kids. We figured we just uh, you just come right back. Yeah, is, there, is there a roundabout? No. no. You used to be able to park at the bottom, but not anymore. <laughs> you made it. Good job. Good real narrow, just That's over there. Yeah. Get out of here. But I want to know if you can make it. So try. I've done it. Try to shimmy. I've done it. All right. Yeah. Film it. There's fatter people have gone through there. Film it. Film it. That's the ski part right there. <laughs> You're looking like, like you need to go to the gym one more time. <laughs> <laughs> So after a quick stop, we ran down the slot and that's a really cool spot. But up next is Borrego Mountain Drop. And this one is a steep one with lots of holes. So people often lift tires going down and it can get pretty scary. A scary feeling. We're gonna head down the hill, then out. Then we're gonna work our way towards the male sculptures. Let's get moving. Unfortunately, it appears the park service graded this hill. Even though it is steep, it wasn't difficult at all. Meaning, any stock 4x4 can easily go down. But the trail did get a little more interesting as we got around the corner and a little bit of rock crawling was required. The next stop along our adventure was the metal sculptures, and this was just as cool as everything else that we saw along the trail. Alex and Crystal found one of the Easter eggs of the metal sculptures. Overall, I think the group's favorite might have been the sea servant which is on the north end of town. Okay, that is cool. Then we jumped on the highway for a couple miles before getting ourselves over to camp for the next night. With camp being so close to Fonts Point, we talked about it and realized we had to go to Fonts Point for the sunset. The point is that, that's the point. As many say, it's in the top 10 things to do in Southern California. And boy, was it beautiful and amazing. Definitely a must do. After just watching the most amazing sunset, it's time to head back to camp, enjoy a campfire, and go to bed. Well, this wraps up episode one of the two-part series. Please like, comment, share below. Uh, I'll put up in the top right corner episode two when it's available. Thank you for watching.